So the outriggers are finally complete. So this is phase three, I think. Phase one was research, phase two was building it, and phase three is actually putting it into the water. Phase three will actually be tomorrow, but I wanna talk about phase one first, the research. I couldn't find any videos on YouTube. I did internet search, Google searches. I couldn't find anyone who had done outriggers like this for a John boat. Maybe there's a reason for that. I guess I'll find out tomorrow. All the videos on YouTube that I could find were people mostly using PVC pipe, you know, that they just strapped to the side of their boat all the way down the side. I saw one video where a guy did a whole styrofoam block all the way down the side and attached that to the boat. Uh, I couldn't find any options. Uh, they had the, the, the uh, beaver tails, you know, for the back, but I don't think that really helps with stability as much as you would think from what I could see. Um, or you could put those collars on the boats, which are like $1,500, $1,600. I don't have that kind of money, especially, that's more than I paid for the John boat. Who, why would I do that? I watched a video where a guy put these crab pot floats on his canoe. And so I thought, if that'll work for a canoe, it'll certainly work for my John boat. So that's what I did. I put these together. I just finished painting them today. Uh, I didn't want them to be red and black, red and white, you know, so I painted them all black so it looks like torpedoes or something, I don't know. Let me tell you how, what all went into this. So this is phase two now, actually putting it together. So I did my research, phase two, and I'll include the footage of me putting this all together. But this is basically those red and white flop, uh, floats, crab pot floats. Uh, I bought four foot of aluminum tubing. I bought these three quarter inch PVC tees. And, um, and then uh, there's three quarter inch PVC pipe that goes through here and then end caps on each side. And um, you know, I put these little, uh, what are they called? Hang on. So what I'm doing is uh, I put some JB Weld on the inside of these, you know, on each one to, to hold that in, uh, to hold it in place. And then I put these metal roofing self-piercing hex with neoprene washers in here. That'll take care of the waterproofing, won't let water get in there. So what I did is I put these guys, so I'll kind of get a close up there. That's what these are. Drilled a hole here, here, and here on each side. So six on each. And that's what's holding these in place. The aluminum tubing was, um, what, $8 for four foot. Uh, then these crab pot floats were um, about, I think they were $17, $18 for the two of these. Uh, so you need four of them. And then the PVC tees, really cheap. The PVC pipe, I don't know, what, four or $5. Um, all in all, I probably spent around 50 to 60 bucks on this. If you were to get the ones uh, for kayaks uh, on Amazon, they want about $100 for these things. Oh yeah, I didn't mention you need the flagpole holders too. Uh, those are what hold them onto the boat. Here's why I wanted to do these and why I picked doing this over the Amazon kayak uh, inflatables. The best part about these is that I can take them off. So if I wanna drive somewhere, these aren't just sitting up, you know, being getting wear and tear from being blown 70 miles an hour down the interstate you know what i mean they, they come off so no additional wear and tear there and that's the best part to me is i can remove them so i can drive it somewhere uh, the other great part about this is like i said they're fully adjustable so let me kind of come over here so here's the other great part so like if i'm just at the dock or whatever i've got it in storage sitting here in the garage i can just keep it up like this my garage is a mess um Obviously this isn't gonna do me much good sitting up there like that. So what I would do is take that out. Like I said, this is a flagpole holder you can get at Lowe's. And I just bolted it onto the boat, put some marine sealant on the inside. Uh, I think that would probably be right down in the water. Put some marine sealant on the uh, bolts themselves to seal it up. And then on the inside, I put some flex seal. Just to be doubly sure. So, I mean, you don't have to take it out to adjust it. I just think it's a little easier for me personally. And then bam, so that's in there, you know? I mean, uh, now I've got my float. Uh, let me make sure you can see it. So yeah, now this would be down in the water. And, and then again, if that's too deep, 
then I can raise it up a notch or two. So that to me is why I ended up doing this. Like I said, I'm gonna put together uh, a clip here to show you how it was built. And then I'm planning on taking it out to my friend's pond. It's just a little small pond. I may fish a little bit too, um, but I just wanna show you that it works. I don't know that it's gonna work, but I hope it does. Um, otherwise, I probably won't even put this video out, but we're not gonna talk about that. It's gonna work. And I got some extra flex seal just in case. I think it'll be fine. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the outriggers for the John boat. I'm pretty excited to get it in the water. I know it's gonna work. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I just wanna show you how easy this is. You know, I, I kind of feel like this is breaking new ground because I couldn't find any other videos on YouTube where someone has done this. So hopefully phase three goes well. And if it does, then you'll see this video. Uh, I'll talk to you in phase three. All right, see ya. All right, so this is just a flagpole holder that I got at Lowe's and we're gonna use this to mount the aluminum tubes that'll eventually hold the, um, the floats onto the boat. Uh, this will allow me to adjust it, you know, makes it fully adjustable and this makes it removable. All right, so I'm just gonna do the scary part and get it out of the way, which is putting the holes in the boat. So let's just do it. I messed up the measurements um, when I drilled the hole because like an idiot I didn't just have this here so that I could just drill straight through there to make sure it went straight into the boat. I did it off of it and so that's what happens but not a big deal. We can just fill these in. I'm not that worried about those two holes. They're way above the water line and I might even just figure out something that I can put here that will um, take care of that hole. Essentially, this is what it's going to look like. Um, it, it's, uh, I've made it so that it's, it's on a flagpole holder out here. So if I want to, you know, have it up, I don't have to always use it in the water. So we just tighten this down. And that will hold it in place. That's, that, this is essentially what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna spray paint these and everything, but uh, so far so good.